Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at constructors and destructors in C++. Now I have opened this console project in Visual Studio and inside which I'm going to write my code. So for your ID such as code blocks and others you have to create one console project and then you can proceed forward with this tutorial. Now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to shortly explain the concept of constructor. So whenever we create a class, we don't usually define these constructor and destructor. However, when we create instance of that class, then the constructor is called. So that object of your class is called. So for example, let's say I have a class named farm. So whenever I create an object of that class, it will create a constructor with the name same as class name. And when the use of your class is over, then the destructor is called to remove the instance of that class from memory. So let's take a look at that concept. So first thing, I'm going to include iostream then I'm going to use namespace standard and now let's start by creating a class so let's say I have this class name it farm okay now inside this class I'm going to add some public members such as let's say integer sheep count then we have let's say integer cell now we will declare our constructor and destructor so constructor is basically with same name as our class name so we use the name and then we declare it just like we declare function then we can also declare our destructor with this hyphen or tilde and then same name as our class name and make it function okay I'm going to comment this part as constructor and also here the structure okay now it shows this green highlight because we have to create instance of that before we can make use of them okay so how to use our constructor so basically we will use let's say this farm class and then we will call for this farm constructor and send void to it and then see out message object of farm class constructed okay similarly when you're creating this structure, you call for this class name, then again create the structure. Make sure to pass void to that structure and then see out. Object instance removed with the structure. Okay. You can also use endl if you are going to do something else in your code. Now that you have created your class, you have created your constructors, also the destructor. Now let's go ahead and call for instance of your farm class. Now here I'm going to create farm fm and then we are going to call for fm dot let's say say variable let's say five cells then fm dot sheep count dwell and then I'm just going to see out some content with total cells and then I'm gonna use fm dot sale multiplied by fm dot sheep count 
okay and then simply call for end line that's all okay we are not going to specifically specify constructor and destructor however do note that whenever we even create this object here so this object creation will call our constructor by default okay. and this has this statement that will be printed on console and then our control moves to this cout statement which has multiplication of these sale and ship count variables and then the prompt will remain as is until we manually close that and during the close you will find that this statement object instance removed from destructor will be called so we may not able to view this destructor message properly okay so let's take a look at that now in order to view this destructor message i suggest you to open the command line version of this program through windows console or if you are doing this in linux or mac then you can create executable from this program and simply call that executable from command prompt that should show you this destructor message however while we are running this in visual studio we will find that our console will close and it may not show this message okay so let's execute and find out how it works And as you can see our constructor is called first then the multiplication of these two sheep count and cell is shown and then our destructor message isn't appearing and it is asking us to get rid of this prompt by simply pressing any key if we do that then this console will exit so we have to run this program on our console windows console or if you're on linux on max you have to run it there and then exit out of this program during that time you will get destructor message so you get the idea how to create a constructor how to create destructor and how they are being called in your c++ program